Hey everybody, this is Ray Moonwolf, and welcome back to my playthrough of Paper Mario. It's a new episode, and we are about ready to take on the final boss. I have leveled up now, so I basically put that point into uh, MP if the thing will show up. There we go. Yeah, I got 30 HP, uh, 30 flower points now. And, well, let's go ahead and ride this thing up. And the music sounds so weird here. And, well, we're here in Cloudy Climb. There's really not much to this place, to be honest. But... We can basically, well, there is one thing we can get here. Sorry, my brain's kind of derping. We can get the super jump charge, which is pretty nice. Uh, other than that, there's really not much here. So let's continue on. There's only one thing ahead of us, and it is the boss. So let's go ahead and... Say hello. Are you a man named Mario, and did you or did you not break one Puff Puff machine? What possessed you to do that? You completely ruined my plans to cover flower fields and clouds. You see, I was going to turn the sun blast in place into a cloud-covered paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. Is that you, Spike? So you have betrayed me. You will be punished. I was given the Star Spirit by King Bowser. I'll never give it up to the likes of you. You will both pay dearly for your crimes. Alright, so we've got this fella, Lord Huff and Puff. When you attack him, Puff Puffs pop out. He will try to reabsorb these. So what you do is you just knock them out. He's got a lot of health. Master Hop and Pop, I wish to pummel Mario too. Permission to attack. Yes, take him. Yeah, the bigger they are, they come in two sizes, two HP and one HP sizes. Depending on what size they are, they will do a lot more damage. But, I will actually go ahead and show later on when he's after fully he fully uh, uh, takes care of them. I might try to use uh, uh, Cloud Nine because that's actually a pretty useful ability. Oh, but he's not absorbing them this time. This attack, you've got to mash a. to basically minimize the damage as best as you can. Alrighty, and jump! And as you can see, every time you do this, his uh, size gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Alright, so... Go ahead and get rid of that, because otherwise those guys are going to do a lot of damage. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and show off Cloud Nine. There we go. I've got myself a little uh, cloud to protect myself. Alright. Hop in. You asked for it. Now you'll witness the full power of my storm. Mr. Hop and Puff, leave him to me. And. Ha <laughs> couldn't hit me. Ooh, he mad, he electrified. But, it doesn't affect me. Now, let me just go ahead and get rid of these fellas. Ah, 
Oh, but sadly, this time it actually did go through. Now, here's the question if this will hit or not. It does! Ow! Yikes, so... Um... Yeah, let me have one of these. Probably going to be spending a turn or two healing. So... Let me go ahead and do this. You ain't affecting me. But this does end up prolonging the fight a lot more, because this guy is really kind of annoying in general. Let's see. Items. <sighs> God, I hate to use that. But I'll just go ahead and have another hot shroom. If you actually can, if you can use multi-bounce, you can probably, if you're actually good with like multi-bounce, you can actually probably get rid of him relatively easily. Spiny Flip is like a huge fucking radi radical. You ain't hit that. And now he is going to try to puff puff me. And it didn't affect me. No, oh, look, he's so disappointed. Alright, so, power jump. And spiny surge. Alrighty, that's... Already dealt a lot of damage to him, but, uh... He's still got some... Girth to him left. Nope, he angry. Let's see... I'm gonna use the shooting star. And... I am actually... Oh, I do not have anything to help. Fuck. Well, spiny flip. that perfectly. No, I cannot lose. <laughs> bye bye And with that, another card has been retrieved, and another star spirit will be saved. Well then, let's put this to an end. End of chapter. So it is so it is that Mario and Party de defeated cruel cloud Huff and Puff and set free the six star spirit. The thick clouds that once cast dark shadows have gone, and flower fields is bathed in sunshine again. Single star spirit awaits to be rescued, waits to take its place in the star sanctuary. Perhaps you will see Princess Peach soon. Perhaps. Just wait and see. Kami Koopa, who watches impatiently from Bowser's castle, is waiting too. For you, for you to try to save them. All right, well, let's go ahead and save and continue and see what happens. Hey, Twink, you know that sneaky parasol I got on that quiz show? I could change it to someone else when I use it, right? So don't you think I can use it to get out of here? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing... Yeah, all right, so... Peach actually has her own little mechanic now to transform. Let's go ahead and get out of this room and see what we can use it on. We've also got a jam and jelly to give to Mario, so I might want to go ahead and do that as well. So let me go ahead and go in here, and apparently... 
Although the guards are on break at the moment. But that's not a problem. Now I can just wander around without a care in the world. Let's see. No, this ain't it. Is this it? Yes. Just gonna put the jam and jelly in there. And now, we could even talk to the guards if we wanted to. Let's actually go ahead and do that. On patrol? Very good then. You can pass through. <laughs> Say, I heard that Kami Koopa is building something above Princess Peach's castle. Bet you it's a secret weapon designed to defeat Mario. Whew, they've been working me like a dog lately. Alright. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit more. On patrol? Very good then. You can pass through. Alright. We can actually go up this way now. Alright. All quiet here. Me? Nervous? No, not me. You surprised me, that's all. There's my relief already. My ship's been over for ages now. Listen, could you go find the slacker and get him up here? Please? I'm exhausted. It looks like this. He's probably goofing off outside the castle somewhere. Here, take this to find him. Alright, now the key to the Peach's castle. So, we shall go ahead and head downstairs and look for the clubba. I believe they got renamed to like Spikes or something uh, later on. Because they look so similar to another later enemy in Mario. I've never been quite sure about that. Anyone got any trivia or something that they, they're willing to, like, throw my way so I can understand this stuff? Or not? Oh well. I'm kind of rambling. Let's go ahead and open up this castle key. And... there it is. So sleepy, so very sleepy. Let me catch a quick nap, but don't tell anyone. Well, can we get out of here? Seems to be locked. You can't open it. Well, can't get out of the castle at all, which sucks. So we revert back by pressing B and use the sneaky parasol to turn into the clubba. What happens if we talk to him? Hey, it's you. Oh no, it's just me. Hello, me. <laughs> Too sleepy to even care. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and go on uh, this away. Back to where we were. It's a very simple uh, side chapter thing, but hey, now the entire Peach's Castle is opened up for Mario when he decides to storm the area. Alright. Going through. And heading on up. Ah, oh, finally, about time. You're late again. Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let it go this time, but watch it, okay? Okay, have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Don't goof off either. You're on thin ice, buddy. Well, let's see what's up this way, since now we can actually go through. Well, this is the area where we first got thrown out. And let's see what's beyond this, even. Alright. More stairs. More stairs. And... Here we go. We're on top of the castle. Hey you, yeah you. Entry is prohibited, is prohibited for unauthorized people. But you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. It's a stupid restriction anyway. Oh, it's Gammy. Okay, okay, everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all the star spirits, we'll still be all right. Pays to expect the worst. Absolutely, affirmative. You're right, Gammy Koopa. Hmm, you there. You 
doing a fine job. Keep up the good... Wait, something's weird about you. You smell... too nice. Yeah! Uh-oh! You! Why, you little... Princess Peach, unbelievable! Out again! Gods, all of you, catch this little runaway and take her back to our room! No! Well, we didn't even learn anything about the Star Spirits. So, that's a little bit... difficult. What a pleasure meeting you. My name is Clever. Thank you for saving me. Huff and Puff is gone, so the flowers and flower fields can live peacefully once more. I feel that you ha if you hadn't come, flower fields would never have seen the light again. Now there's only one of us star spirits still trapped. Just one more, Mario. Here, please use my power as you continue your fight. Mario's star spirit goes up to six. Can now use Time Out, a new star spirit power. With Time Out, you can stop time and stop all enemies in their tracks. It's basically a stopwatch. Now, you are able to use the power of six star spirits. If you use mine as well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. Don't become overconfident, though. You must be careful. Bower has power. Bowser has power as well. Remember that even stronger enemies await you. I hope our powers will help you so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. I'll go back to Star Haven now. Can't wait to get there. I've been terribly worried about everyone. Congratulations, young Mario. You saved the Star Spirit. Because of your efforts, Flower Fields is beautiful again. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please, come and see us again. I'll be looking forward to it. Well, that's pretty much it for Flower Fields. There is still a uh, Lack of Lulu over here. How are you doing, Lack of Lester? Are you becoming a better Lack of Tuant by helping people? Hmm? Darn it, I told you not to call me Lack of Lester. Ah, you never listen to me. But that's why you're so cute. Aww. That's adorable. Anyway, back to Toad Town. Back to Toad Town. Well, oh, we have no idea where the last star spirit is. At all. There is a place we haven't gone to in Toad Town Sewers, now that we can go with Lack of Lester, so that might lead us to where we need to go. Ooh! Double Dip. During battle lets you use two items during battle. Only one BP, but no money for it, sadly. Darn. Actually... I want to go ahead and try my attempt at taking on Can't See Koopa. I'm gonna go ahead and save right here just so it isn't a complete wash. And I'm gonna go ahead and see what this big lug's like. The biggest of lugs. Hey, you there, Hulk! Hey, you in the hat, wait. Fine weather, isn't it? My name's Ken C. Koopa. Please remember it, okay? If you want to use this road, you need to pay me 100 coins. So sorry, but that's how it is. You don't pay, you don't pass. Coins make the world go round, and it's all about the money. Let's fight this fella. If you want to fight, you're nuts. Look at me, I'll cream you. Because to be frank, I'm very, very strong. Are you sure you want to fight? Let's fight. Well, I have no choice. I warned you, though. This may hurt a little bit. Now, the way- the best way to beat him is to actually use Lullaby. Because he is actually very weak to getting knocked unconscious. Watt can actually also pierce through his defense, if I recall, right? Yes, he can. And by jumping on him, he's got two things. He's got a shell and he's got his little nubby little tail. You want to go for the nubby little tail. 
So let me go ahead and power jump on that tail. Doesn't really matter with what, he can shock wherever he wants. But basically, this is like the easiest way to get rid of this guy. So, boing. See, he's already taken a lot of damage, but I am gonna go ahead and change party members to Bo. So, she can uh, do an out of sight because I believe he can still attack while uh, flipped over like that. Yeah, I... Yeah, he'll flip back up and then he'll, uh... What am I trying to say? He'll flip over and then attack. God, I cannot think right now, but... As you can see, a lullaby knocks him out for a good long while, so it's quite useful. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, jump on him. Going to change back to Watt. God, the quick change is so useful. And now just keep electro dashing and jumping on his tail. Jump, power jump on the tail. I believe he's got like 75 HP. He's actually a pretty beefy little fella. So, power jump. And electro dash. See, going to do one more power jump, and he's gone. Twenty star points. He's actually pretty tough, but not too bad. Wow, you must be really strong. I mean, beating a guy my size. Guess I have to give up. See you later. <laughs> well, that takes care of him. Let's go ahead and tell Colorado. Oh, well. He's already gone. Must be back at Toad Town already. Eh, uh, must be back at Koopa Village already. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap, and then we're gonna have one more fight on our hands to end this episode off. That's right, we're going back to the dojo. And I know someone said I, was say I said Jojo the first time. Just because I love that show doesn't mean it's always on my mind. But... Anyway, we've got a fight with the master again. <coughs> oh, Mario, welcome to our dojo. For what purpose did you come here today? Well, time to give you a tryout. Very well, Mario, I will fight you again. I will not go easy on you this time, however. You must concentrate fully if you hope to compete. To battle! <coughs> Mario, you will fall. <laughs> so, the master just went Super Saiyan. Ooh, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. He is a lot stronger this time, and he can actually use combos. Hm, nice maneuver. So, he's not so weak as you think. Yeah. Because he does a lot of damage. <laughs> he's actually pretty tough. And I believe he's got a combo. Yikes. He is not fooling around this time. Alright, so it's pretty much the same fight as before, but he's just dealing a lot more damage. Don't lose your concentration. I've yet to truly begin fighting back. Here we go. He would do like a multi-hit combo that does like three or four hits, but because of my Zap Tap badge, I've kind of nullified that attack in general. He's still an incredible pain in the ass. Alright, I am now 
I'm gonna go ahead and enlist the aid of a star spirit. Miss Star to smooch me back to health. I don't think I actually showed this on camera yet, so... Yeah. For three meters worth, she can give you 20 HP back. It's not really worth it, usually, but... I guess since I don't really want to use items that much here in this fight, it's quite useful. Gee, she even guarding that still did a lot of damage. So, boing! <laughs> nice maneuver. Alright, Electro Dash. I just like Watt in general. He's such a cutie. Alright. And, boing! Alright, keep this up. I'm sorry if this fight- oh! <laughs> was looking uninteresting, but I, as soon as I said that, the fight ended. <laughs> that was a solid fight. Very well, I give you this. The fourth degree card. Proof of Mario's strength for be uh, besting the master at the dojo. You are welcome to train here with us anytime. <coughs> He still has one more fight for us. But I'm going to save that till after the next chapter. Let's see what this Toad has to say. Hey, that's a fourth degree card. Whoa, amazing. You rule, Mario. You must be crazy strong. Now, I completely forgot about this earlier, so... Sushi can actually take us to that pipe over there, but also... To the star piece over here that's been driving a few folks crazy, probably. And if I recall right, this leads to somewhere in Toad Town sewers? I forget. Oh, it just leads to a super block. Well, Paracarry, you're up next. So. If, you, if I recall right, this one's like a multi-hitter for the entire party. So let's see what he's got. He gets Air Raid. Fly around like crazy, attacking all enemies. Not bad. It's a good move if you if you need it. Uh, my perspective there went kind of wonky for a second. But yeah, that's... Pretty much it for this episode, I guess, because in the next episode we'll be heading off to Places Unknown for the final Star Spirit. There's still a lot to do, and well, we'll see what happens in the next episode. This is Ray Moonwolf, signing out. Later, guys! Woohoo!